Hey everyone, so we're doing a pretty colourful set today. I've already applied my tips and my clear base. So I'm now going in with Glitterbell's Lemon Sorbet first with my size 12 brush. Applying to the tip first and then my second bead to the cuticle. Tapping into the cuticle just lightly, pushing it where I need it. And then swiping the rest down. Now I'm picking up the dried flowers just with my brush and applying them onto the wet acrylic. When it slightly dries you can apply a little bit more of your clear acrylic to re-stick them to. They can be fiddly. And always make sure that you are picking up a flower. I left that in there just because I found it funny at the time when I was editing because I remembered that actually I went to put it on and I was like, oh, where is it? And I'd forgotten to pick it up. So just bear that in mind. Added a bit, little bit of clear acrylic there because the rest of the nail then dried. And then just sticking them down again. Sometimes you do need to use fingers just to squish them down because they can be a little bit temperamental. Kind of misbehave a bit. So just do that till you're happy with your flowers. A bit more clear acrylic and a little pathetic baby one on the end. But it made the difference. So marble, I'm applying my first bead. I picked up three different colours but I'm not going to bother making them look all pretty. I'm just going to apply that bead so that I'm happy with the cuticle area because we're going to go over that anyway. As I do with all my marbles. second bead and then just using the very tip of the brush just to move that around there you don't want to move it completely too much because you will just end up with kind of like a, a color blob don't really know what else to call it but yep color blob we'll go with next bead again again very much the tip of the brush I always seem to go up into the right hand corner and then down towards the left and I always pick up two to three colours a time when I'm doing marbles. Up again. Also, don't worry about it being bumpy because obviously you're going to cap it in clear acrylic anyway, but just don't worry about it because sometimes if you try and flatten it too much, that's when you can kind of take away from your design. And the end little baby bead. I literally loved this marble absolutely loved it really enjoyed doing that so now I'm going in with Prince Crush which is one of our pre-mixed glitters off our website second little bead we're gonna glitter ombre and then pink crush the crushes just blend together so nice I love them and then the second little bead up at the cuticle. Just moving it where I want it and then dragging the rest all down. Love that nail. We're gonna do a neon ombre on this one. Going in with flamingo feather, which is neon pink, if you didn't know. And then Tropical Sunrise up at the cuticle. Into the cuticle and then dragging down. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny, teeny bead here now. Just there, just to blend it that little bit more. Totally makes a difference. So there's that one. Going in again with Prince Crush here. Up at the cuticle this time. And dragging down just slightly. Kind of just messy, not perfect, because you'll see why. Another one of the premix glitters, which is Lilac Delight. Going diagonally with this one, slightly overlapping the Prince Crush. Pink Crush. Going up the rest of that side there. I absolutely love this nail as well. I keep saying that, but honestly, I really just enjoyed doing these nails so much. 
Okay, so going in with glass slippers now. Glitter balls, glass slippers to cap this nail. Encapsulating in all those flowers. But there's a reason that I'm trying to do it in one bead, which I couldn't end up doing because these are so long. So I just added a little bead on the end. Leaving it there to go matte. And then can you guess what we're gonna do? Any guesses? I bet you do. So wait for it to look like this and then get your netting. Put your finger underneath them or get them to rest onto something. This is in real time. And then I press into the clear. Hold for just a few seconds. I let go completely and then I very gently, as you can see, just start to pull away it gently. There we go. We'll come back to that one in a moment. So I'm gonna cap the glitter ombre nail. Sometimes I do cap in one full bead, but when they are this long, sometimes it's just impossible because you just wouldn't have the strength there. So I do like to do it in two or three on this length. And then we'll add one more for the apex. Just to make sure that is in there. Okay, so back to the netting nail. I'm now just using all of the colours that I've used on the other nails and I'm using them quite wet and just going over the netting design. This glitter I'm using here is called Wisteria. So I'm using some colours, some glitter, I'm just going over it quite lightly, but making sure it has gone everywhere. But you'll see when I come to file this, I only kind of leave it in certain areas. Okay, so now I'm going in with my e-file and my drill bits. You can also find these on my website. So I go around the cuticle area first, then down the left-hand side, down the middle, and then to the right-hand side before I get my hand file. At the moment for files, I'm using our metal file board and our refills, but I'll let you in on a little secret. Um, probably within the next couple of weeks, we will be releasing some new files and buffers and shiners so get ready so i'm going in now with a metal file board into the side walls this is also completely in real time to show you exactly what i'm doing it's not sped up or anything so you can see exactly how much i do per nail but obviously i'm just showing you one so i don't bore you too much and you don't you probably don't want to watch every single nail being done like this because you know everyone's favourite part has got to be the top coat. So into the other side wall. This is me making sure as well that it's got the point that I want so I'll keep working each side until I'm happy with the point of the nail. So you don't get too file happy on just one side. And then all over the top of the nail, into the cuticle, and over the remainder. Keep checking your side views and make sure that you don't file away your apex. And then I sped up this little bit here because I thought this is dragging out a little too much. Just a little bit though. Over the end. So top coat! I'm using obviously the glitter balls, no wipe top coat. So I'm going to pop this on, I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds, and then we're going to use a unicorn chrome. And I believe it is unicorn chrome number one that we're going to be using. Ooh, top coating the marble. I literally just, I think this definitely is one of my most favourite marbles I've ever done, to be honest. And I've done a lot of marbles. I think marble is probably... You know, if you said to me, you can only do one thing forever, and I really had to choose, it would probably be marble. Oh, look at the glitter though. Yeah, I'd still do marble because you know, you can add glitter in your marbles, so I still get the glitter. Oh, we had a little clingy bit there. 
always I hate them they're my pet hate you'll have to let me know if they're your pet hate as well you think you've got them all off and they're just hiding under there just waiting to jump out on you so top coating the flower and netting nail I loved this as well it's just something a little bit different and the thumb the thumb is so sparkly sorry I get really excited by glitter but then again who doesn't who doesn't really so yeah there's the thumb love 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 so unicorn chrome number one that's the amount I'm sorry that my nails that really really needed doing are completely in the way here but I'm just gonna rub that on to the little pinky until I'm happy I know that you can use the applicators but sometimes I just like to use my finger rub 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 love it love it and dust off the excess and then we're gonna go in and top coat again to seal that in and then I just added a little bit of bling because we decided we didn't need too much so I hope you like them guys let me know in the comments what you think and if you're not subscribed please subscribe thank you very much and I shall see you all soon on the next video thank you for watching guys see you all soon Oh, and I'll leave all the links in the description box. See you guys.